Hey YouTube, it's Firebird JMP and I'm back again with another Gas Mask video. It's been a while, hasn't it? Not really. To me, it, it feels like it's been a long time since I made one of these, so, uh... Gas Mask I got for you is, uh, from World War II, and it's not from the United States this time. I decided to go out of my comfort zone, kind of, and buy a respirator that was out of country. So, uh... It's, def it's a more common mask, but the version I have is a little... A little more uncommon, a little harder to find. And as always, I got it for a really good price, so uh, without further ado, let's get right to the mess, shall we? Alright, here we have the British civilian duty gas mask. But, as you notice, it's a little bit different. As you can tell, very obvious, there is a big black little piece here. And, guys. I guess what it is, it's a microphone. Let's take a look at the mask a little bit. Got the eye lenses, pretty clear. Didn't have to really clean this mask at all. Got the flapper valve, which is still very pliable. Still moves around really easily. Got the filter down here. Swing around here. Got a marking right here. It says 11-9-47. So it was made uh, September 11th, 1947. And BRF, I believe that is the manufacturer of the mask. Got the head harness. The head harness looks very similar to the uh, Canadian C3 mask, so I have absolutely no fucking idea how to adjust it, because I really don't like that head harness at all. Get a little more detail on the microphone here. Pretty cool. And, you know, it's got this neat little thing, which is the headset. I was very, very, very excited to get this. I was very happy I got it. Got the little plug that goes into the mic onto the radio. Now I believe this mask is actually called the uh, British Radio Operator Duty Mask because it has the uh, microphone and it's got the plug that would plug into a radio. This mask was made in World War II. This one is a later version. Earlier versions had a uh, a little bit different modifications. I want to say modifications. It's a little bit different changes. Like a change I noticed was they use different types of filters. Very, very, very badass mask. It's very. It's actually really heavy because if you can tell, you don't really see the eyes on my mannequin head at all. It's really, really heavy. I'm very surprised my mannequin has even standing up on his own. Probably one of the heavier. Respirators I own. Very common British mask that's on the gas mask market right now, but it's uh, not very common you find one with a microphone attachment. So I thought that was pretty neat and I was very happy I got this. I don't know a whole lot about these masks. These were made in World War II and all that fun stuff, but. That's all I pretty much know about it. Alright, so we can take a gander on the inside of the mask and then I can throw this bad boy on and then wrap this video up. Alright, here's the inside of the mask. I managed to get a beautiful, beautiful vision inside of it. There's the cover for the filter. Got the little hole for the microphone here. Got the uh, port for the exhale valve, or the flapper valve. And got the eye lenses. Exposes from light, gets an overall view of it. Rubber is still very pliable actually, it's very very soft. So I'm very happy about that. Easy access internal view. Straps flip over perfectly, so I'm happy about that. Yep, there you go, just like that. 
Alright, it's time to put the mask on and then wrap this video up. Alright, now it's time to put the mask on and show you how guys show you guys how sweet this thing is. This is my first time ever wearing this, so let's see how it goes. Mask is pretty comfy. Wow, that's that. You yeah, actually hear me pretty well. I wish I had a radio to plug it into. I don't think I have a microphone jack quite this big. But mask is pretty comfy. It's World War II. I'm not expecting it to be the most comfy thing in the world. This uh, radio piece actually isn't surprisingly that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. But actually, not too bad. Very happy. Alright, that is the British civilian duty gas mask, or the British radio operator duty gas mask, so, um, got this mask on eBay for $38, I believe. At first, I, would, I saw this auction, and I was like, I, this thing is going to get really expensive because it has microphone and all that shit, so I was just watching it and see how so much would someone would buy it for, but I was like, eh, why not, I'll throw a bid down. So I threw a bid down of $27, and the shipping was $11, and to my surprise, I won. So I was, I was ecstatic. I was very happy to get this. I'm not much of a British respirator guy. This is actually my very first British gas mask. So, um, at first I was skeptical about getting these masks, but... Now that I have this thing, this thing is pretty fucking badass. I'm very happy about this. So, um, yep, I got it for $37 with a microphone and all that. Um, you can typically find these on the market really easily. They're all over the place, and if you can't find them on normal eBay, you can go on eBay UK, and they're all over. Um, it's hard to find one with a microphone, though. I've only found, this is the only one I've found for sale with a microphone. I mean, I've seen other collectors have one with a microphone, but I don't know if they're willing to sell it or not. You could try, I don't know. If you find a collector with one, just ask them, hey, is this for sale? You probably won't get it for $38 like I did, but you can still get it. So, uh, that's all I have for you right now. I have a lot of videos planned. I have... Two new masks coming in right now. I got a. Uh, I'm remaking two of my videos, and then if I hit 300 subscribers soon, then I'll have that video too. So, uh, and a chemical protection suit video. I'm still way too lazy to go clean that thing and actually do a video of it. So, uh, that's all I got for you right now, YouTube. So, uh, peace out. Keep collecting, and uh, have a good one. See you guys.